Have you ever wondered how a simple story could shape the destiny of entire civilizations, or how the device you're holding right now is a part of the most powerful information network humanity has ever created? Welcome to Curious Insider, where we decode the complexities of human progress through the lens of critical thinking and deep analysis. I am your host Supomo, and today we are embarking on an extraordinary journey through the evolution. Of human information networks. In this episode, we are diving into Yuval Noah Harari's groundbreaking work *Nexus: A Brief History of Information Networks from the Stone Age to AI*. This isn't just about another book discussion. It is a crucial exploration of how humanity has processed, shared, and transformed information throughout history, leading us to the precipice of an AI-driven future. What makes this journey particularly fascinating is how it connects every piece of technology you interact with daily to the fundamental ways our ancestors shared knowledge from ancient storytellers. Gathering around fires to the global digital networks that now connect billions, we are about to uncover the hidden patterns that have shaped human civilization. Whether you are a technology enthusiast, a history buff, or simply someone who is curious about where we are headed as a species, this episode will transform how you think about. Information and its role in shaping our future. So let's begin our exploration of how human networks evolved from simple stories to the complex AI systems that might determine our collective destiny. In the vast span of human history, our ability to share and process information stands as our most remarkable achievement. Think about it. Every major leap. In human civilization, from the agricultural evolution to the digital age, has been fundamentally driven by how we handle information. Harari Nexus takes us on this fascinating journey, revealing how information networks have shaped our past and continue to mold our future. But what exactly is information? It is far more complex than most of us imagine. While we often think about Information as simple facts representing reality. Harari challenges this naive view. He reveals that most information doesn't actually represent anything concrete. It is a sophisticated web of human constructs that we use to make sense of our world and cooperate our actions. For instance, the compelling story of Shah Ami, a carrier pigeon celebrated as World War One hero. This tale perfectly illustrates how information became. Intertwine with myth and reality. What began as a simple historical event transformed into a powerful narrative shaped by branding campaigns and collective imagination. Through this example, Harari shows us how stories, our first great information technology, became tools for massive human cooperation. But stories, powerful as they are, have limitations. This is where documents enter our narrative. The beauty of Harari. Harari's analysis lines in how he connects these historical developments to our present reality. Every tweet, every digital document, every piece of content we consume today is a descendant of these early information systems. We are not just observers of this evolution; we are active participants in the most sophisticated information network humanity has ever created. Imagine standing at a crossroads where divine authority meets human. Interpretation. This is where our story takes a fascinating turn with the emergence of holy books. Humanity's first attempt at creating an infallible information system. These weren't just religion's task; they represented a revolutionary lab in how societies manage and distribute knowledge. The Catholic Church's relationship with biblical interpretation serves as a perfect case study. For centuries, this institution didn't just interpret scripture; it monopolized the very concept of truth. Picture a vast network where every piece of information, from astronomical observations to medical knowledge, had to align with a single centralized source of authority. This system was so powerful that it shaped not just religious beliefs. Leaves. But the entire framework of medieval society. But here's where things 
get really interesting. These societies evolved. We witnessed the emergence of two constructing approaches to information management: democracy and totalitarianism. Think of democracy as a vast river delta where countless streams of information flow freely, merging and diverging in a complex dance of ideas. Totalitarian systems function more like a carefully controlled reservoir where every drop of information is monitored. And regulated from a single point. This brings us to a crucial realization: information isn't just about truth; it's about power. The way societies choose to structure their information networks directly impact how power is distributed and exercised. In democratic systems, information flows multi-directionally, enabling public discourse in collective decision making. Totalitarian regimes, however, create tightly controlled information. Hierarchies where power concentrates at the top. Now, as we stand on the cusp of the digital age, these historical patterns take on new significance. The transitions from human-centric networks to what Harry calls the inorganic network isn't just a technological upgrade; it is a fundamental reimagining of how information flows through society. And like the Printing presses of yesterday. Modern computers don't just store and transport information; they process it, make decisions, and pursue goals independently. The network never sleeps; it's always on, always processing, always evolving. This breathless nature of our current digital infrastructure has informed not just how we communicate, but how we think, walk, and live. We are no longer just consumers of information. We are nodes in a vast interconnected web that spans the globe. We are now entering perhaps the most critical chapter of our information evolution: the age of artificial intelligence. This isn't just another technological advancement; it is a fundamental shift in how information networks operate and influence our world. The stakes have never been higher, and the implications are profound. Think about this: for the first time in human history, we've created information systems that can. And not only process data, but actually think, learn, and make decisions. And like any previous information system or network, from ancient storytellers to modern bureaucracy, AI systems can operate independently of human oversight. This raises a crucial question: Can our democratic societies stay hold meaningful conversations in an age where algorithms increasingly shape human discourse? The challenge becomes even more complex when we consider how AI might transform political power structures. Imagine a world where algorithms don't just suggest what movie you might like or products you might buy, but actually shape political decisions and social policies in democracy. Democratic societies. This could either enhance public participation or create new forms of digital manipulation. In totalitarian systems, AI could become the most powerful tool of social control humanity has ever seen. Harari's analysis reveals a fascinating possibility: our world might split into distinct digital domains. Picture a global landscape divided not by traditional borders, but by competing AI systems and their associated information networks. Some regions might embrace AI-driven governance, while others resist it, creating new forms of global tension and cooperation. But Here is the most compelling part: We are not passive observers in this transformation. The choices we make today about how to structure and control these AI networks will determine whether they become tools for human flourishing or instruments of unprecedented control. As Harari warns, we are approaching a potential terminal era, a point where the decisions we make about AI could irreversibly shape humanity's future. This brings us to a crucial crossroads: the power of AI-driven information networks could either unite humanity in defense of common interests. Or devices into hostile 
digitally defined blocks, the key lines in building what Harari calls wise networks, system with strong self-correcting mechanisms that can harness AI's potential while maintaining human agency and democratic values. As we conclude our journey through the evolution of information networks, one thing becomes clear. We are living through the most significant transformation in how humans process and share information since we are in fashion of writing. The question isn't whether AI will change our world, it is how we will shape the chain to create a future that enhances rather than diminishes our humanity. As we've journaled from ancient storytelling to the front tellers of artificial intelligence, one truth becomes crystal clear. We are not just witnesses to history, we are active participants in perhaps the most significant transformation humanity has ever seen. The story of information networks isn't just about technology, it's about us, our choices, and our future. Think about your role in this unfolding story. Whether you engage with social media, use an AI-powered device, or share information online, you are contributing to the network reshaping our world. The power to influence these systems evolve isn't just in the hands of tech giants or political leaders, it's in yours too. This is why understanding Harari's insights is so crucial. We are standing at a crossroads where the decisions we make about information technology, information networking will echo through generations. Will we create systems that enhance human cooperation and understanding? Or will we allow these networks to fragment our societies and demand our anatomy? The answer lies in becoming not just users of these networks, but inform architects of their future. It means questioning the algorithms that shape our daily lives, understanding the power stretches behind our information systems, and actively participating in discussions about how AI should be developed and deployed. Here at Curious Insider, we believe that knowledge isn't just power, it is responsibility. That's why I I'm inviting you to join our growing community of critical thinkers and future shapers. Share your thoughts in the comment below about how you see the AI and information networks affecting your life. Remember, the next chapter in this story isn't written yet. The choices we make today will determine whether our information networks become bridges to the brighter future or barriers to human progress. The power to shape this future lies in understanding our past engaging with our present, and actively participating in conversations that will define tomorrow. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the evolution of information networks. Until next time, keep questioning, keep learning, and keep shaping the future you want to see. This is Curious Insider, where curiosity meets insight. Bye-bye.